I want to play that again, honestly. I don't feel like that was a very indicative game for Buffalo. I feel like I could do much better. Let's, um, let's just keep going for a minute. But no, yeah, we, we did some of that yesterday, and it's the new graphics are really impressive. Would I take any AA skills on a Zao? On, so, my default position on AA skills on cruisers is that the two-point skill is worth it on any cruiser that you feel has a decent anti-aircraft sweep. Zao, in my mind, Zao is worth that. Zao is worth the two-point skill. It's an extra flak puff, and then when you push your little focus up button, you get extra, you get extra, extra DPS. Why would you not? So, like, American high-tier cruisers, you know, most high-tier cruisers in general, obviously, you know, uh, Minotaur and Zao and Hindenburg and, like, you know, yeah. For two points, that's worthwhile. Two points is a very small investment to make for that little bit of extra punch when you want it when there's a carrier in the game. Um, the four-point skill is a big investment. The horror. That's what I said. The horror of it all. Um... The four-point skill is a big investment. There are not many ships that I would spend that many points on on, on the AA. Um, so, for example, right now I have it on my Des Moines. Mostly I did it to try it out. Some of the reason I did it was because a lot of carrier players have developed this mindset that Des Moines is food. And I, I like that skill because I get to troll them. They think, oh, it's just a Des Moines. You know, he's not nearly the AA powerhouse he used to be. And then his squadron disappears in a hail of, in a hail of flak. And I laugh at him. Um, so, yeah. All right, I have, we have a radar. They have none. So we have me, and they have none. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to take my radar to C. Right, so, so Stryker, Stryker makes a good point as well. Like, Wooster is another ship you could... Um, Wooster is another ship you could make an argument for taking it on, in the sense of that ship murders planes, and then... Now you want to we want to really murderize planes? There you go. Yeah, I play open. I've played open water wooster. I hear you. Sucks, but I bet so yeah, like nice. there are there are please, my please where I go. God, shut up, Duke. My um my default position is for most cruisers, um, you can absolutely justify the two point skill. For very very few cruisers, you can justify the four point skill. And then for some cruisers, you can't justify either. Like, go look at, like, for example, look at something like um, an Abruzzi or a Duca d'Aosta or almost any of the little mid-tier cruisers, right? Most mid-tier cruisers don't have AA suites worth writing home about. So would I even recommend the two-point skill on an Abruzzi? No, I wouldn't. It's not worth it, right? The AA value is so low, the incremental bonus you're getting for your two points is that isn't even worth that, right? You're going from one flak puff to two and 40 DPS to 50, who cares, right? For two points, that's not worth it. So there are cruisers that it's absolutely not worth it on. But by the time you get to like most tier seven, tier eight cruisers in, all, in almost every nation, you can make an argument for the two point skill because by then you're getting into early to mid war cruisers, cruiser designs where they realized anti-aircraft was a thing, like this was an important thing. And so, yeah, most AA suites in those cruisers are beefy enough that it's justifiable to spend the two points. What's up, Potato? Mm, I don't feel that way, Stryker. I don't feel that Wooster has, has points to spare. The fact that you have to take IFHE soaks up four more points already. So I only have seven points left. If I, avoid, if I you know, for my base skill arrangement, right? If I invest those points um, poorly, let's say, that can, end, that, can, that can end badly for me. Okay, my radar just about covers the whole cap, but I'm not lit. Mass down south. Haven't seen the Soyuz or the Bismarck. Bismarck down south. So we might see Soyuz. Mogami, Rune. Both cruisers down south. So we might... See, we don't know which destroyers down there. I'm going to get flipped out. They don't have any radar, so if our CAG plays this right, he can do really, really mean things to that team. The fact that the Rune of the Mogami are broadside to all of our battleships. Okay, Fletcher, so we might see the Akazuki up here, but no. Okay, CAG needs to back off a bit, and then I think we need to, we need to start pushing. 
we're going to flip the guns and run south. Because right now, it's looking like their whole team's down there. So let's get to the middle of the board. Is the four-point skill worth it on Atlanta? That's actually a really interesting question. I haven't tried it. Okay, yeah, their whole their whole team is it. Their whole team's today. We got to get out. We got to get down there. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I do run the two point skill, and obviously with unlimited defensive fire, Atlanta is already a bit of a leg up in this in this department. Um, I'd have to go look at the numbers. My instinct tells me no. And part of the reason for that is that Atlanta is already so... Atlanta's already a skill sponge, right? You're already investing in IFHE and concealment for four points. To take another four-point skill and then and then continue to have enough points to make the ship to get, like, most out of the ship is going to be tough. Good job, Turpits. We avoided bumper boats. All right, let's keep moving. Aki's, gonna, Aki's coming through the middle of the board. As long as Akigero lives, I don't care. And I'll get up here and spot the Aki. We're going to push through and then swing west. Yeah, he's exactly right, Marauder. I'm going to push through down here around this island and then turn west along the E-line. I want to keep the Aki from the middle, and I want to try and dissuade this Bismarck from whatever he thinks he's doing. Hmm, I had AP loaded. Okay, well, he's turning into it, so that might actually be a good salvo. No, Kagero, don't do that. What are you doing? That was not smart, Kagero. There was no need for our Kagero to die right there. All right. We're going to back off a bit. I need to be able to keep some distance here between me and this Bismarck. Presumably, he's turning his guns. That will be bad for me if he is. There's the Soyuz. No, he's turning south. He is turning his guns, though. Okay. That's fine. Turn your guns, buddy. All right, so the Aki is now in the cap. Not much I can do about it at the moment. The Soyuz is actually showing me a really good shot. Yeah, look at that. Have fun with my AP, sir. Ignore my AP at your peril. All right, you're going to turn and show me a better, a better angle. I need battleships to, like, show up now. Swap to the HE. See if we can finish off the Soyuz. We've given up the cap, but we're not in that bad position. They've given up a boatload of health to achieve the board position they have. We have a huge health advantage right now. So this is still winnable. It just may not be necessarily the easiest thing we've ever done. And I'm showing the Soyuz too great an angle. I'm about to get slapped, I think. Nah, that could have been worse. Let's pop a heal. Is he reversing? Yes, he's reversing. I need to get him lit again. He burned one of his DCPs a minute ago. We can focus out the Soyuz. We're going to be in good shape. There we go. A little bit of fire. He's about to kind of wander out of my range. Our mines is going to die. God, they have so many ships on the verge of death. Their Bismarck is almost dead. The Soyuz is almost dead. Soyuz can't reverse anymore. He's beached on an island. Okay, he's out. Bismarck will go soon. Hopefully someone will kill him. The boogeyman is real, and you just found him. I'm going to move up here. 
If they won't kill the Bismarck, I will. And between, I should be able to, with the radar, I think I can fish out the Aki. Uh, yeah, mine's going was kind of an inevitability. Come on. Guys, you need to stop. You need to kill the Bismarck. Stop shooting at anybody who's not the Bismarck. And, and our Monarch is firing AP at, like, max range. Well, that's fine. At least it would hit. Okay. Yeah, see, look how much HP they've given up. We still have all of our battleships, and they're down to just the mass. Now, our Fletcher's given up a lot of HP, but if they can kill this Rune, that'll be good. I'm going to push back up here and try and flush out the Aki or the Fletcher. Fletcher's still... Fletcher's harassing the Musashi. Musashi gets a good hit. We needed that. Let's see if we can flush this Aki out. Where is he? It's the Fletcher. All right, that works too. Shells are too slow. Interesting. Uh, guys, you're finding ways to lose. Please don't lose this game. It's really not necessary. We can kind of win if you'll just not suck. Oh, man. All right, I'm glad to see our Turpitz has so much HP, but his position is terrible. All right, I'm going to back off and start farming the mass. The mass should not have a line of sight to me with all this smoke in the way. Actually, no, he will, because the Fletcher and all that all that garbage is too close. Oh, I can cap. We push the Fletcher out of the cap. That works. Let's do that. 60 seconds on the radar. Let's see if he'll reverse back into the cap. He's trying to probably reverse back into the cap. I can pick up this cap. There we go. Okay. Five seconds. I'm going to back off. Just a moment. Okay, we got the cap. Fletcher's running. Time for me to start pounding this Massachusetts into oblivion. Swap to the AP. I'm betting I can get good AP pins at that angle. Let's find out. What is with that dispersion? Woof. Not bad. I'm going to take one of these. That's going to hurt. But that's okay. If I just take the one, I'll survive it. He's gonna fuck up my hair. I've had worse. Ah, uh, much better. There we go. Come on. Oh boy. Mass is looking at me. Not good. Not good. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. <laughs> Alright, we own all the caps. We're within seconds of winning. I feel pretty good about this game. We killed the Aki. Our Fletcher's out. We'll survive that. I'm going to go dark. We don't have to do anything right now but not die. There we go. Enjoy your fire mass. There we go. I like I like Buffalo. I've learned to like... I used to hate this ship, but man, let me tell you, my opinion has totally changed. My opinion has totally changed. You do have to be kind of gentle with her. Yeah, we've pushed him so far back off the caps. I think our... Oh, is our Turpets going to die? Yes. 
But they can't get onto a cap in time for it to matter. Team definitely working on throwing this game, but will not matter. You know, Debosh, I, I used I used to hate this ship. I legit despised it. I don't anymore. I don't anymore. And I really have to blame YouTube for it. Because I had a guy come onto one of my YouTube comments a while ago and tell me, look, you're playing Buffalo wrong. Stop playing ranged Buffalo. Start playing reload Buffalo. Player has a bit of a brawler where you have to move up close-ish. And she's totally different. And he was right. He was right. I was so used to thinking I needed the range... But with this ship, you just you just don't. She's stealthy enough. You can you can manage that five kilometer gap in most situations. So there you go. Anomaly. Well, Kev, thank you for the follow. Geo, thank you for the follow. So yeah, I I and, and Buffalo in my mind is also she's also really good in this kind of matchmaking where you know you know you will not see a tier ten. So if you're playing bronze and you've got a Buffalo, why not? Why would you not? Right. Absolutely. 